Good morning. 7 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday, May 26th. Check that calendar. Uh, guys, uh, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but I posted this spreadsheet up a couple days ago. And now we're at May 26th, where I predicted the prices and I said I found a pattern. So here we are at May 26th. Let's go on Coinbase and see what the price is. Well, look at that. Look how cl look how close I am to the price. 10172. Right? And, and 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, we're gonna see a dip. I have to change that comment. But look what happens after the 31st. See? You see what's going on here? Do you see? This is comparing it and following it through from 2017 when it when it rocketed up. I caught it here when I seen this dip. It recovered around $91. I'm slightly off of the price. Here I was off at the price because I was second guessing myself. Right? So uh, if everything is going right, I'm probably going to dump my coin on the 29th and pick it up back here. Because this uh, bull run is just following the other bull run price for price, day for day. And I don't think anybody's caught on yet. Now this is going to go down to uh, $95 in the next few days. It'll hover around 100, 101. It'll bounce all around here. It'll eventually capitulate to $95, which would be on May 30th. And then May 31st, it's going to go right back up. <clears throat> That's what I've been noticing. And it's been matching every day. It's been a few dollars off. And these guys scribbling all over the place with their technical analysis with Fibonacci circles. And that, that we haven't heard this one guy, oh, it's going to have a 40 to 60 percent loss. And instead we have a 30 percent gain. Now, and every time it goes down, like for instance, May 30th, when it goes down, which, you, you know, he should be prepared to take advantage of that. He's going to start jumping up and down and say, oh, it's going to go down 60 to 40 percent. And a simple spreadsheet in the comparison to the bull market of 2017, this thing's meeting it stroke for stroke. It hasn't, it hasn't, it, it hasn't been wrong since the 23rd. It's the 26th now. So now keep checking this, 27, 28, as the days go on, you keep checking this, and you're going to notice that this is exact. what I, this spreadsheet I created is exactly right. It hasn't been wrong a day since. This morning it was $101. Now we expect it to hover around 101 and 100 for the next couple of days. Then it's going to capitulate because, you know, the market maker's in here already. You can see. And I'll show you where he is. He's, he's already working the price down. He's right here. And he's probably buried in here. It's it, He's around uh, 2100. 
on both sides of the book. Uh, let's see if we can see it. So, so far, we've been mis uh, following the bull run of 2017, stroke for stroke. I, I originally had a sale in for 105. I went a little too high. I wish I would have left it, uh, 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 took the math and closer to the prices that I had on the spreadsheet. I probably would have uh, got my sale and, and I would have bought here at 100. But, you know, I, I, doubt, I doubted it. I was testing it and I said, I don't really want to risk it. It could just shoot up. I could be wrong. But it turned out that I was right. So the market maker now, the, 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 the market rigger, I'm sorry, the, you know, the market rigger, he wants this down around $90, okay? He's going to try and get this down. He's only going to bring it down to 95 the market rigger, you know, because he likes 90 because then he can maximize his spread, you know, what he takes from us. And then Coinbase sits there and thinks, well, nobody's as smart as we are. We run an exchange. Meanwhile, they're all IT people, and it's, it's this market maker either works for Coinbase and they and they and they work in collusion with this market maker in full knowledge that he's ripping off people. But hey, we're making fees, so you know, or pretend pretend like you know you're stupid and, and uh, you know you don't know what you're talking about. That's the spiel they immediately engage in. Then they get their lawyer to concoct. Oh. Yeah, the market maker, he only posts 40 to 44 cents away from the last sale. And he hasn't done that since that letter it came out. And so you can obviously tell if there's one statement in, the, in Coinbase's letter that's wrong. One statement. The whole story is bullshit. You go to a court of law and you say, well, I didn't murder uh, uh, Mrs. Sally. I was at the bar. All that time. Well, the guy said, you know, we went to the bar and we asked your friends that you hang out at the bar. They said you weren't there at that time. One statement in the whole story is bullshit. The whole story is bullshit. I don't, I don't understand these people working at the agencies. How do they, they, come on guys, you can't be that stupid. You can't be. That's what I'm saying. That's why people suspect. That's just why people suspect that these government people for the CFTC, the New York Department of Financial Services, you look at them, you look at the letter, you check it yourself, you, you pass the letter along to multiple friends. They look at it and they're like, what the fuck? You, you know, the guy, everybody, all the evidence points that he's manipulating the market. Then they make an excuse for it. You check the excuse; it's total bullshit. And then you're gonna still t you're still not gonna take any action against these guys. You're gonna believe the story? Ah, no, no, no way, no way. <coughs> you know, years and years of doing research, for, you you know, as a market analyst, running Omni accounts for the richest people in the world at Citibank. I was beholden to them. I did seventy five percent of all the accounts. Out of a, out of ten people, I did all most of the accounts. Out of all the people that were at Citibank and private banking, because I was trusted, I knew what I was doing. You're always were going to get a right answer. I worked at Deutsche Bank under under Frank Gambino, under Sal Manfrey. Sal Manfrey's now a a, a a councilman in his district of where he lives. When they wanted a, a straight answer, what was going on in the books, I did. Um, almost all the reports for them. Okay, I did the mark to mark. I did all the reports for them. I did the margin calls. I did it all because they trusted me. They said, "Well, if I give it to this guy, it's possibly he could get it wrong." But John, we know he's like the sun. He comes up and he comes down. He always gets it right, or he doesn't hand the report in. <coughs> so this is what I I, I don't understand. So when you look when you're looking at this, it's matching uh, 2017 
I took the info, made a spreadsheet. It's following it stroke for stroke for the price. I went by price and did a comparison to the 2017 Skyrocket Parabolica. I started at over here in the 90s, and lo and behold, it's matching it like it's like like 2017 created the schedule for 2019. That's what I could say. And you got all of these guys with their technical analysis and the Fibonacci's, the RSI. Right now, I'm using the RSI to confirm that spreadsheet. Now, if you notice, the RSI has been high around 70. I think it's going to go down to, to 50, which will bring the price down to 95. This is going to take a couple of days, if you notice my spreadsheet. 95 is not going to be hit until May 30th. It's going to bounce around, bounce around, bounce around. You know, once it gets down to the 50 or lower, it's going to go to 95 on May 30th, going by the schedule this seems to be following. This is my opinion. Now look. Now look, we're at 100. It's going to bounce around here for days. Today's day is the 26th, so it's got four days. It's just going to bounce around here. And then it's going to go down. The bears are going to get happy. You know, they're going to get a bear on. And, and then it's just going to shoot up to $116. That's what I'm seeing. See? The next day. Bear trap. That's what we're seeing now. Bear traps being set. And the bears probably don't even realize it. So go ahead, bears. Get all excited that it's going down. Go buy your shorts. You're going to get liquidated on the 31st. And then they tell you the market's not manipulated. All you have to do is find out what he's working off of. <laughs> so the, the market manipulator is working off 2017. Right now, if you look at it, we're on schedule for June 11th to hit a new market high. So... After this, ha if this happens, after this, uh, I'm going to go on a subscriber-based, you know, you pay me, and I'll look at it, and I'll tell you what's going to happen. And I'm going to try to become a Litecoin Oracle. So far, I haven't missed it. And then after this rise, and then when Litecoin's done, and it crashes back down, I'll do my research. And I'll tell you where we're headed. But for now on, all of these people that, that, that turned around and said, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, you know what? You'll be paying me to find out what the market's going. All right, people. Good luck on your trading. I'm giving this all away for free. But it's not going to last too long. When people see that I'm right, I, I honestly expect some kind of compensation for my effort, okay? I, I just, you know, c coming to this wasn't easy. You have to sit here and you have, my wife says she could see the smoke coming out of my ears. She knows when I'm up to something. All right, guys, good luck on your trade anyway.